<laughs> what's going on? Uh, for a minute, there, I thought I was gonna, I was not gonna go live at all because it was storming like nobody business. God was in the bowling strikes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that score is on 10,000. I swear to God, it was lightning for like five hours straight. The power went off like twice. Like, it was crazy. Like, I, I ain't seen it rain like that unless, unless it's a tropical storm. It just continuously rained and thundered and lightened for like five hours straight. You know what I did? <laughs> to bed. <laughs> I went straight to sleep. I was out like a light. Hey, like a light. <laughs> That's the best sleep I got in a while. I was quiet. Quiet, we heard the thunder in the background. I just tuned it out. Mm hmm Yep, yep. Got up the bowling. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. So I know you guys like what is polenta? What is polenta? What is polenta? What is what is it? Okay, so polenta is Italian grits. Italian grits is all it is. Grits, yellow, yellow Italian grits. It's all polenta is, which is very good if you make them a certain way. So the way I'm going to prepare these, I'm going to add it. I'm going to cook it down with some chicken base and some put some fresh ginger, oh, say um, garlic in it and some um, and some cumin. Yep. So this is polenta. Let me turn around. What's going on? Um, what's going on? Um, Christine Wright, Eric Carter. What's going on? Lisa Watkins going on. Hey, Auntie Constance. Yeah, so this is polenta. Oh, you said your grandmother won't let you breathe in a storm. Yeah, that's why she went to sleep. <laughs> it, took me back to, it took me back to being a kid. It sure did. It took me back to being a kid. I just went to sleep. <sighs> All right, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so this is polenta, which is all it is to tell you is yellow corn. All right, but I got to get this started because it's going to take my... 30 minutes for this to cook. Hey, Milana Roberts. Hello. That's, hey, Donella. So I did, I did get a chance to order you guys hats yesterday for the ones. I ordered your hats. Um, Cleveland Tinsley, I sent the wrong address out. I sent you a message. I put your address wrong. I put two, I put your address wrong, dog. And so your thing just circling out there. But um, try to go to the post office. I sent you a message. Look at, look at your message and you'll see it. I sent you an inbox. And my fault. <laughs> but if it comes back, we're just going to go back to the warehouse. It's not going to come to me. I have to wait and do the process over because I think um, a few other people already got their cutting boards already and stuff. So my fault. You had already had it already because it's out for de delivery. All right. So let's get into making this polenta real quick. Let's start the basis. And I know y'all plus placenta. What's pl placenta? placenta? What, what's that? <laughs> it's, no, it's not what the baby come out of. It's polenta. Um, hey, Nancy. You don't think you, know, you never had polenta before? Well, if you go to a real fancy um, Italian restaurant, real fancy, you gotta go, go to one of the real, real fancy ones. Go to a real fancy Italian restaurant, you'll, you'll get some polenta. They, they normally serve it there. Or they see polenta cakes where they fry it down and stuff with the, with the Parmesan cheese, all the. Yeah, because I'll show you another, another trick after what you can do with this. I'm making right now, you can make polenta cakes. And those are good with some marinara, some eggplant, some onions and stuff roasted. And oh man, the deliciousness. So I told you I got a million things for you guys to try. All right, I'm going to add some chicken base to my water. So you do this almost the same way you do grits. And I try to tell you it's grits. It's just the flavor of it is it's a little different. Just a little different. Be only because I'm using um, chicken base and garlic and cumin. That's the only reason why it's going to taste different, of course. But it's the same same texture as grits. Okay? But I'm going to pair, like I said, I'm going to pair this with this pan seared salmon, which is going to be awesome. All right, let's add in, <laughs> let's add in our Italian grits. And there are instructions on the back. If you've never seen these before, there are instructions on the back. But of course, you know, I know how to cook these. If you don't know how to cook them, there are instructions on the back to tell you how to make it every kind of way. In various ways. They even tell you how to do fry polenta. They tell you various ways how to do it. You want to whisk them in and you want to let those cook. Like I said, it takes about 30 minutes because it's almost like stone ground grits. 
So you just want to let this cook in water first. Don't add your butter. Don't add the, don't add your milk. The same way I do my grits, I don't add. I let my let them cook in water. Therefore, if I have to add more water to it, so my uh, so my grains don't be as grainy. I do that because but if you add the milk into it, it takes a longer time for it to cook. Actually, so I just like cooking in the water first, or the chicken stock. Let it cook. Let it ride out. We're gonna turn this down a little bit. We're gonna actually cover this with a lid. They, they pop just like grits too. They, it's the same. It's a cousin. They just yellow. <laughs> All right. In front of me, I had to turn that water. Now I didn't want to get burnt by it. But um, here I've got my water on for my asparagus, asparagus, and a lot of people always get when you get asparagus. You guys, I know sometimes, and you chew down on them, and it still be woody at the bottom. It still be real woody at the bottom because it is. It's, it's, it's the, the woody part of the or fibrous part of the asparagus, and you you see it here. You see how how, how woody woody it is. It's, it's not. It's inedible, but you can boil those stalks down. You can boil them down, and you can get a nice um, stock out of them. If you're gonna do asparagus cream or asparagus soup, but anyway, the way to see that the asparagus tips are done, the way to see they're, that they are done. All you got to do is going to take one of them and wherever the bend is, wherever the bend is and wherever it snaps is where it's done at. So it snapped there. The rest of this is no good. That's how you do asparagus. You don't just don't go and cut it because you're going to cut the wrong spot and you're not going to get the tender shoot. So you're looking for the tender shoot. The best way to get the tender shoots on the asparagus is to just bend it and let it break. Don't cut it with a knife. So even if you get a handful of them, I just want to show you guys, if you do a handful of them, it's going to break wherever it's going to break at. And see, and it's not, they're all not even, even, even at the same time. So some sort of another, it broke at different spots. So that's the way you make sure that you're getting a nice tender shoot so to get those woody pieces of the asparagus. All right, so I got some salted water here. I'm going to blanch these. I'm going to blanch these and make sure I grab enough. I love asparagus. Asparagus is one of my best, one of my favorite things. Make your peace think, but it's okay. That means it's doing something good for you. <laughs> that makes it doing something good for you, right? Don't the man say, Chef, you got a person who's, in, who's uh, imitating you he got your pick and some some of your recipes on his page. Report him. You know it's not me. Report him. Send him to jail. <laughs> Report him and say these are fake. Cause I, I don't get it all the time. As a matter of fact, I think Dawn had told me somebody was imitating imitating me though. And that's reason my numbers are down because this person is getting my numbers for some odd reason. But y'all know who the, who the real is. I'm often imitated but never duplicated, baby. <laughs> you can't replicate this. And see that knowledge I just gave y'all? People can't do that. I'm off the imitator, never duplicated. Uh, I think that's on low. Let me turn that on low. I need to come back to a boil before I add my asparagus. All right, we're going to move Mosey on over here until that come back to a boil because we watch it ain't going to boil. Y'all yeah, know that. You got to hold your mouth right. <clears throat> All right, so I got my salmon already. I already wrenched it off. I need to dry it off. And so I'm doing a very simple seasoning on this. I'm doing this. I'm gonna use this, this smacking seasoning that they sent to me, which I can tell you guys, it came out very good, very well, very, very, very good. It tastes just like mine. Only thing, the color, the color is a little bit off, but that could have just been the seasoning, because all seasonings are not created the equal, you know what I mean, on, on color wise. But it's, it's um, but like I told you, this is this is the fourth sample they sent um, sent, um, sent me. So um, yeah, and I just got. I just gave I just gave the approval to them yesterday. Called them, gave the approvals to go ahead and go ahead go go with it. Sent the deposit in for it. Um, 
And I thought it would be a little bit faster than that. <laughs> I said, dang, I gotta wait another five, six weeks. Come on, now, keep waiting now. I've been telling her to wait, but I said, no, no way, Anthony, just come on down in my head. Because I didn't see it to him personally, you know, but I was like, just come on down. Um, everything, it, it, it come, it'll come when, it, when it's supposed to. It's all right. It will come when it's supposed to. They waited this long, they could wait a little longer. It's all right. But, but it ain't me, y'all. It's all the production. We go on the production, okay? A little smacking, and of course I like to mix my that with a little seafood seasoning. So I actually, I actually also have some other seasons that's coming along with this. I'm trying to get to as well. I'm not trying to. I'm gonna get. I don't try to do anything. I'm gonna get. Um, add a little seafood seasoning on here. And do the back. Yeah, so it's still still another like I said test product, but it's um it's good. I used it on that shrimp pasta yesterday. When I tell y'all that shrimp pasta was, was bomb.com. God dang that shrimp pasta was good. Oh man, and y'all know I do my shrimp pasta like two ways. Same way I same way I do my macaroni and cheese. So the, the video I have, I didn't do the rule on that one, but you still can do this the rule, or you can do the other way I showed to showed you as well in the video. So um but like I tell y'all, oh man, that dang on shrimp pasta. Oh man, I think it was the Argentina shrimp that made it taste even better. The Argentina shrimp was, oh man, that was good. Oh man. What, the, the biscuits? <laughs> Not my mama biscuits. <laughs> what, them biscuits too? Oh Lord Jesus. Them Italian grits will lock up on you. All right, let's get over here. Just like grits will. <laughs> it's the same. I told you it's his cousin. All right, so you want to wait to blanch anything. You want to wait till it come back to a boil. Add in your uh, asparagus. And as soon as it come back to another boil, you're going to take them out. Yeah, I see. Look, they already getting th 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 thick. I, see, I, gotta, I told you I didn't have to add a little water to them. That's why I started cooking these first. Like I said, it takes about 30 minutes for them to cook. And you want to make sure they get cooked thoroughly. Because all they look like said just looks just looks just like yellow grits. It's like got cheese grits already, but it's not. This is this is polenta. Yellow grits. lid back on it so I'll take this long and we can we got to finish these off too as well but you know what I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna add my garlic in here now I'm, I'm gonna add my garlic in because I want my garlic to be a little bit softer and all you need is about a tablespoon of garlic fresh chopped garlic Cover this back up with a lid. All right, and there you go. As soon as, as soon as, as, soon as your water come back to a boil, a roll, a rolling boil, you're gonna take them out. That way, you still keep, still keep the pretty green. And it's gonna be nice and pretty crispy. So as soon as we come back to a, a rolling boil, which we're at, there it is. There's our rolling boil. Let's wait for. All right. And now you could do an ice bath and shock them if you're gonna do a crudite or a, a vegetable platter. 
um, so you do it with any of your vegetables. You do it with your um, your, your your broccoli, your um, cauliflower, your carrots. If you're trying to just make them stay pretty green, yeah, which is called blanching, you want to keep them just like this, nice and pretty. Just let the water come back to a boil. Make sure you use salted water to it as well so it can keep a little flavor to it. Especially if you're going to do a vegetable board with it or crudite. I don't got a whole asparagus facial. <laughs> Steam bath. All right. Guess what? Guess what I did? My pan already hot. Into don't jump this buddy here when I pop the top off. My pan is already hot. The olive oil. So you can pan sear this salmon. I'm not finished those asparagus either. I'm gonna do something else with them. I just wanted to, to get them partially cooked. This one, how does it supposed to be? It's going to be hot. My grease ain't hot. No sizzle? No sizzle, my nizzle? <laughs> okay, I'll wait for the next piece. All right, there's a reason coming, so I'll wait for that. Uh, hey, Bertha Massey. You're welcome, Carolyn Williams. Thank you for teaching us. Say so you saw him too? Y'all seen that person? Y'all go get him. Y'all know to go jump on the page. You are not him. <laughs> I don't know who you is, but you are not him. Stop trying to imitate me. <laughs> Say he... <laughs> Y'all be like, what, is, what are you cooking now, Chef? You, you, you gonna throw us for a loop? What, what, what you in here doing now? What you doing, Chef? <laughs> y'all told you I got a million things in my head that I be doing, like that I have, and I, I, I have to wait till you guys be be ready for it. See, I think I've, I've been I've been um, preparing you guys for a long time of, of these incredible meals to come for me to cook. Like I'm, I'm not with the mediocre all the time. I'm not a mediocre cook, Chef. I am that guy. <laughs> I like doing different things. So I try to keep I try to keep things simple, but I got so sometimes, sometimes I, I can't I can't do it. I I need something different. I need grits back there gritting. No, we can't order the seasoning now. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. We, we still in production, y'all. It's, it's still there. They, it's a process for it. I mean, it's the pretty color and the flavors and stuff, but uh, it's, it's a process for it. Because I'm getting the mass produced, and of course, they don't want to mess up because I'm spending a lot. We're spending a lot of money. So um, they don't need to mess up. And I don't need for you guys to be like, uh, oh, it wasn't right. So they have to get everything in line, everything done on how they're supposed to do it. 
if they got to take their time, take your time, your man. And mama used to say, <laughs> you better take it. <laughs> I'm going to let them take it. It'll be all right. We're going to get it sooner or later. All right. But again, but thank you guys for your patience. As always, thank you. Oh man, I messed that one up. Janice Jones, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the star, Daniela. Sophie Jackson is watching. Brenda Newman, hello. Hello. Cherryo, hello. I'm telling you, it's one thing that uh, Spanky is going to do. It's going to add some good flavor and some good color on that thing, too. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, worry about it. Okay, so I, just, I just add a little seafood seasoning because my seasoning is not salty, but I do want that, that extra little spice that, that, that comes from the seafood seasoning. And I, just, I use, I, no, I didn't show you guys. You ain't so stupid. And like, seafood seasoning, okay, my people from New Orleans, it's still seasoning. I use, I like this. This is what I like. They don't put it in the bottle, it just says seasoning. It says, it gotta say boil on it for some odd reason, but they don't, they just put it inside the bottle and say seasoning because then people won't get the misconstrued because you can use it as seasoning too as well because it's delicious. I like the flavor of it. You put a seafood ball up. It's seasoning. It's seasoning. Okay. Just because they put ball on it. He <laughs> water, water, uh, be so correct or politically correct. All right. Let's get back to these, uh, these Italian grits back here. Because it's doing what it's doing. Let me turn it down a little bit because I, I need to actually almost finish this off on the stove. Let me pull this to the front of the stove. To the front, I, I had the um. Mhm. Mm Look at that. Mhm. Mm yeah, get that. Which color on first? We're gonna add us some cream in here. That's a cream. I'm gonna add some butter too. That's not enough cream for me. Tell you, it looks like some good cheese grits. Mm, 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 mm. That's all look like some good cheese grits, y'all. Without cheese in it yet. Yet. We're gonna add some white pepper to this. Thank you for the star party. I see y'all. We're gonna add some cumin. Not coming. Cumin. We ain't gonna do the Teresa from, from the Housewives. Cumin. <laughs> Let's taste this. <clears throat> Let's taste these Italian grits. I see I put Parmesan cheese in it too. Mm, mm hmm. Mm. Mm. -hmm. Oh, 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 I tell y'all. I'm gonna add a little more. Um, I don't want to put too much in there. Oh, man. Oh my God. I ain't had this so long. I ain't had this so long. Mmm. That garlic and that cumin in there. I still gotta add some butter and a parmesan cheese too. Just still enveloping and developing more flavors inside of it. Oh 
man. When I tell you, <laughs> it's some of the simplest, some of the simplest things could be the, the most the profound in flavor. I'm trying to tell you. And you got all you gotta do is just step out your box, step out your comfort zone, step out of it. Throw that away. Put that key back. Put that I, I don't eat this out of your mouth. Take it out your vocabulary. Try something different. Okay? Let's remove our salmon. And we're gonna keep our same pan and we're gonna make our sauce. This one that wouldn't act right. Always one little kid that don't want to act right, and that's it right there. You're gonna keep all your little drippings in there. I'm gonna add in some onions and some bell pepper. Salmon good. Ah, dang it, man. Why you hit me like that? <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> you know what he's sitting there tease me with? The song he's sitting there tease me with? The Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson song, Anthony, are you okay? Instead of saying, no, I don't want to say, Anthony, are you okay? But they were saying, Anthony, are you okay? Are you okay, Anthony? <laughs> I ain't okay right now because that salmon is good. <laughs> Siblings are the worst, but you love them to death. They are horrible. Because <laughs> you've been hit by a smooth criminal. Kitchen, I am. Yeah, add some some butter in here. And just pats of butter in here. I'm gonna whisk these guys in. And I tell you, you will eat these. After you have these, you probably won't grits no more, plain grits, because it's the same. But you probably won't want plain grits no more. See, my grandmother used to make these whenever she made her boiled fish and grits. You know, this Bahamian style, the yellow grits. Um, but she used to make the yellow grits for her boiled fish and grits. And some Johnny cake, which I know about that. Who for Bahamas in here? Which I know about some Johnny cake, some boiled fish, and some yellow grits. Y'all know about that. Who from who Bahamas? Who's been Amion in here? Who's been Amion? <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Uh, Debbie Campbell said, yes, bah um, Bahamas in the house. I knew y'all was here. <laughs> my, Bahamian, my Bahamian family inside the house. What's going on? Yeah, some good boiled fish. Oh man, and them in them yellow grits. What? It's all hit different.
New York Queens in the building. What's going on, New York? New York. All right, gonna add a little bit of flour to this. Let me make out a little gravy. I'm doing. It's gonna be a, a white gravy, so just want a little bit of flour in here. Uh oh, I gotta take this out. This blends because I do not want to scratch my pan up. I need this. This is the silicone. Oil. Tighten up real quick. All right, we're gonna add a couple of packs of butter in this too to let this do what it do. I right, add some butter in here. And I'm gonna turn this down, let, this, let that butter melt for a second. Hold on a second, I gotta go to the garage real quick, y'all. Give me one second, I gotta run to the garage. in our cream. After you let the flour cook out, you want the flour to cook a little bit. Cream in. And turn the fire heat back up. You could also this could be a, a good breakfast or brunch dinner. Like I said, it's, it's either versatile meal. You do so much with it. Um, definitely, a, definitely a brunch item. Definitely. But um. You also have for dinner, or if you just want to have a breakfast as well. It's a heavy breakfast, but uh, of course, it's for lunch, eat some dang on fruit. <laughs> and that's where you solve that. <laughs> eat yourself some fruit, okay? I'm gonna make a stock with this. I'm gonna put, of course, put my own. Um, Time we're gonna go ahead and finish off our. I got I got a little whisk. I use that pot. I need another whisk. I wasn't using that metal whisk on on that pot. <laughs> I use it on this one. It's all right. Look at that. Oh, that polenta. These ain't grits. These Italian grits. Okay. Mm. 
got some. Now I'll use some some grated Parmesan cheese in this in this one. But other than that, you know, I'm doing my Alfredo sauce. I'm using some um, <laughs> I'm using some dang on um granulated. <laughs> More flavor don't ball up on you. You know how I do. Like you look like that old little wig in the corner. <laughs> you know you ain't comb it out in a while. <laughs> That's what that cheese do to your pot. <laughs> you take the comb that thing out. Comb that nap out there. Yeah. <laughs> you balled up in the bottom of the pot. <laughs> Don't mind me. I know I ain't got a thing on since. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 Gonna let those things finish just dancing and do what they do right there. <laughs> In the book. Yeah, I say I'm off to imitate, never duplicate it. Got okay, a little more liquid in here. We, want, we like the sauce, y'all. I don't know if y'all did. We, we like the sauce in there. A little more liquid, a little more cream in there. We likes the sauce. Add in some scotch bunnit pepper because, because <laughs> you know, we likes the spice. The, without the seeds and the membrane. Don't put the membrane in there. And the seeds either. I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Put our salmon back inside the sauce so we can take a bath because it's a little dirty. Need to get ranked shot. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me see the season first. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't been messed up. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. My bad. Let's take that step back. Let's put our um, shrimp broth and bouillon in here. Add a little shrimp bouillon in here. Give us more depth of flavor. Kosher salt. A little smack attack. <laughs> Why not? Y'all know I'm going to add the smack attack in there. Sit there and go in the garbage. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, we're gonna add our sun back once we add the juice. Add your salmon back to that little little sauce. Yo, I'm talking about that that girl. Put that thing back in that sauce. <laughs> And, and, and all the juice. And because we extra fancy, we can put some lobster tails in the old Lagostino, baby lobsters. Not baby lobsters, baby. It's a type of lobster. It's a smaller, piquito, baby lobster. <laughs> some Lagostino in there. Because we can. Langostino. Take a picture right now. Langostino. Lobster. It's like $20 a bag. Tell you, ain't nobody fresher than me. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, ain't nobody fresher than me. <laughs> oh man, I cracked me up because I'll tell y'all something. What this gonna taste like? Yeah, I, mean, I know you're like, I still can't see the vision though. Yeah, it's not. You don't see it in a minute. You gonna see it. Let's see it. Come on, back on the other. Watch. <laughs> you want to get extra fancy? Well, you can add some sausage in there too, as well. <laughs> Put some sausage in there. If you want to, if you want to get, if you want to get janky with it, <laughs> or jiggy with it. Chives. I'm gonna turn it off. Because that's that guy's thing. Yes, I know. I came on a little earlier today. I know I'm gonna step on um, all the other content creators' toes. I know they have a time time slot and everything. I just didn't know what this weather was gonna be like or what it's gonna do. And I had to come in the kitchen and decide something real quick. Uh, am I gonna cook or not? Are we gonna barbecue? Or we gonna meal do? You know, I didn't want to be meal doing because I don't like the way it's a sour smell. We don't like meal doing. We gotta we gotta cook. <laughs> all right, let's do our asparagus, and we are after that we are ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll, y'all. All right, we're going to pan through our um, well, just brown up our, our asparagus a little bit. So I got the stainless steel pot out. This, this conducts more heat. Then uh, they get hot.
I'm gonna let my butter brown a little bit. While this doing that, you know, I'm gonna add some more cheese to this. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't, wasn't enough. So I'm gonna rest that bag in there. <laughs> You know, okay, so one thing is, so tomorrow I'm going to, um, if it cools and set right, I guess I can make some polenta cakes. Let's get two uses out of it. Mm. I want butter to brown a little bit but so I can toast these. Aspergas. All right, it's almost there. Mm -hmm. Brown butter tastes too much better too as well. Brown butter. And I'm gonna let them go. Just let them set there. Let them go right out. Now you come back to them. Just one nice little pan sear on them. I'm not trying to burn them up. Just trying to get a little sear on them. I'm not trying to overcook them because they're already done. I just want to be roasting inside that that good loving right there. That little, 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 that little brown, that little brown butter love. A little brown butter love. Brown is always good. <laughs> little brown butter love. Take you a squeeze of lemon juice. Gonna brighten that up a little lemon juice. Pinch of kosher salt. A little pepper. All right, y'all, y'all, are we here for the grand finale? I'm gonna plate this, I'm gonna get ready to plate this. Well, we done, but that's it. Let's go on to plate this. Let's go on, oh, look at that, look how pretty that is. You see how I'm getting that? Look how pretty it is. All right, let's make a plate. I'm gonna show y'all better, I can tell you. <laughs> Let me get fancy too. Some little Italian grits back there. So 
I know y'all like these, it's just like cheese grits. Just, I'm trying to tell you, but the flavor is different. It's different. It looks just like grits. It's a cousin. Polenta. Same difference, though. It's just how you season them. I'm telling you. It's just how you season them. That's it. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Say I came back to let you know mm -hmm. that I got a thing for you and I can't let go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, y'all understand? Look. <laughs> He about, he about to dang gonna fall out in there. What's that smelling good in there? Mm-hmm. God, let me go kill him. Ooh, Lord. Let's, 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 get, let's, get, let's, get, let's get a little taste of it right here. Come on, come on, come back that thing up like, come on, back it up. Back that thing up like you belong to see. Mm. You do an arm adjustment on that one. <laughs> Italian grits. Turn me turn the stove off. Oh my God. When I tell y'all. Look, they over there questioning. Don't be questioning. I'm trying to tell you. Once you taste some Italian grits, you're gonna be back in that pot and I bet. <laughs> mm. You're gonna be back in that pot. Like, God dang. Just do them. Mm-hmm. What that song Rita Franklin got? What she say? Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way this should be the day going good. <laughs> mm hmm Ain't no way. I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm-mm. Sandra Wilson, so I want some. I'm trying to get look. So you'll find the polenta, don't look where the flour aisle is at. Um, is at. Go to where the cereal aisle is at. Go to the cereal aisle where you find the grits at. You will find polenta. Don't go with the, um, the flour and everything else. Don't go get no cornmeal. If the bag should say polenta on it. Mm. When I tell y'all, <laughs> hit different. In every aspect, in every way. Try this. Thank you for sharing, sharing Brenda Kickley, as you always do. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Got to be more careful. Mm. I'm going to go sit down so I can enjoy this meal. Yeah. <laughs> but I love you guys to play hot at the bottom. Hell, slow. Play hot, hot at the bottom. I love y'all. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this meal. I'll see you guys tomorrow because this is a one meal thing. Like I said, hopefully if this sets right, I'm going to try to get it to set right. And so I can make polenta cakes out of it. So I can show y'all guys how to make polenta cakes. All right. Love you guys. You have a blessed day. Thank you guys for stars. Thank you guys for shares. Thank you guys for likes. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I say, man, look, what's going on? Um, Big Red. <laughs> it is too. That's a, look, I always, you know me. I always call it different things though. But I will see you guys later on. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace. Thank y'all. <laughs> Y'all better try this meal, I'm serious, try it.